Oh, I don't even know where to begin with this game. Well, here goes. Limbo of the Lost released in the EU in 2007 and later in North America in 2008, but if you didn't know better, you'd think it released in 1990 alongside Edward Scissorhands or Dances with Wolves. This game was included in our bootleg Elder Scrolls series, mainly because of the accusations that it stole assets from other games, most notably the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, and because you guys voted for it in the community poll. Hooray for community engagement! All right, good job, guys. So before we even get into my miserable experience with it, I gotta get a few things out of the way. First off, this is absolutely a bootleg. There's evidence of it online, and I'm only saying this now because this game was so frustratingly broken, I didn't get far enough to get to a point where the stolen assets appear. There's a few things as well that appear during my short time with this game that I want you to experience as I did, and mainly that's the audio. The audio in this game was awful at points. I mean, so bad that I couldn't hear the dialogue or understand what people were saying, and I was generally confused most of the time. The music was so loud at points, it continually drowned out conversation, so be warned. At points during this video, the music may be incredibly loud, but I want you to experience a few of these moments exactly as I did. Also, I couldn't get the game to record at a proper 1080 format, but who cares about how a YouTube video looks, right? Right? Anyways, I'm so excited for this game. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what to expect. I haven't seen any gameplay. I haven't seen a screenshot. Get reality. Surrender to your darkest dreams. Um, that was a bit creepy. What the fuck? That was actually terrifying. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't like this at all. I'm out. I can't hear anything. The face is incredibly. What is that? Get off my screen! I can't even hear myself think! I didn't see an option for subtitles either, so I don't know what these guys are saying. It's always a dungeon. Another ripoff <laughs> of Elder Scrolls. No, this is not how they do the cutscenes. Is this real? This game feels illegal! This does not feel right. Oh, what the f- This is not real. Why, why is it zoomed in on his face like that? They even took the facial zooms out of Oblivion. But tell me, what is this place? Who gave this the green light? This is bad place because the dark ones, they are not the mercy field. The dog ones? The dark ones. The dark ones. Who are the dark ones? They present you here. All right. You're only allowed to hang out that way if you upside down Spider-Man kiss me. Oh my god, he's like sliding across the roof. What is this? Get away from me. Can I skip this? This godforsaken place. Uh-oh. It crashed. It already crashed. In the first cutscene, it crashed. <sighs> Do I have to watch that entire damn thing again? Okay, more sc Way too loud. Oh my god, it is so loud. I had to take my headphones off. It's so loud. Oh. <laughs> His face, what is... Who, 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 what are you? My name is Iraq. Is it Iraq? Like the country? Who are the dark ones? Who are the dark <laughs> I love the look. The facial expressions are great. Earthly guide. Yes, yes. Look. They are the Get me out of this godforsaken cutscene. Is he talking to me? I'm so unnerved right now. Like, I, I, I'm not even enjoying this. Okay. So you're my earthly guide. Oh, wait. Oh, it's literally a point and click. I wasn't ready for a point and click. Okay, uh... What, whoa, 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 whoa. It's a, I'm on a Ouija board? Ouija board? Yeah, the animations on him are actually not that bad. <laughs> I've got the worm that he gave me from my inventory. Sorry. Sorry. All right, well, we'll just keep the worm in hand, sorry, I guess. Did, sorry, no, I'm not. So, sorry, sorry, so, sorry. I'm trying to put it back. Okay, there we go. I was trying to put it back in the menu. Okay, okay, I can save my game. What the fuck is happening? Unfortunately, that was the scariest save game screen. Can I go up here? Oh, there we go. Okay. God, navigating this game is horrible. Who would have bought this? Is there combat in this game? I know I know that there's assets just straight ripped out of Oblivion, and I'm trying to figure out which- Oh, Jesus, what is- Same. 
Is that this game's idea of a jump scare? God, could you imagine if RuneScape had these graphics? Am I going the right way at all? Finally, some light, I can see. This game is so awkward to control. Okay, did I, did I come in the other way? I guess I'll go this way. Shh, Grunger. Who's Grunger? Whoa, what a stink. Shh, you awake my master. I was a fine figure of a man. I've got issues with the people that made this game. I'm actually upset that I'm playing this. My guy's still in such a good mood for being banished to hell. Yes, he's got the key on his chest. I can see it. Oh my god, can we get rolling? These, these conversations are taking so goddamn long. They keep Billy mazing me with every single transition. But wait, there's more conversation. <laughs> if I right click and bring up the Ouija board. I can sense, look, or take. These are how I use my actions. And a demon has to like breathe into my ear every single- All right, can I take this? Empty flask. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, grab that. Oh wait, there's the guy I was talking to. He's under his foot. So I guess I should just go back here and go up the stairs. I haven't been up here yet. Oh, I'm gonna have to talk to someone else. I like the song. Got nobody. Hello. Now there's a surprise. Kind of cute. I don't get much company down here. Well, you wouldn't, would you? <laughs> well, I can't say I'll be joining you for too long. Now come closer, me no, 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 no. If you come any closer, you're going to break my monitor. Everything about this is so incredibly unnerving. I can't even, like, make commentary over it. I don't know what the hell to say. Well, you'll have to be cooked off, won't you? Why on earth would you want to cook me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not actually a lost soul. I'm a mortal man. What? Alive, living, not yet dead. Nice um. rump, though. Shame your immortal brings in me, lad. <laughs> oh, she's admiring my ass. She's actually got more personality than every other character in this game so far. Oh, a lever. Let's pull it. Oh, come on. Okay, so that lever won't budge. I gotta find something to move that lever with, I guess. Beware. Water! Oh, God! Water! <laughs> Run! Oh, Jesus. Okay, that actually scared me. Oh, okay, so I guess this is where I go after I get the key off of that guy in there. All right, all right. I'm unraveling this mystery slowly but surely. Now I'm just backtracking. All right, so we're gonna take the jar. I'm gonna go back to that room with the water. It doesn't tell me if there's a door on the bottom of my screen. I don't know unless I just click around and find out. It's a good, it's a fun guessing exercise. Yes, okay, we got the, there we go. So can I combine the worm with the flask? Oh. <gasps> Tequila? Really? <laughs> How does that work? Wait, maybe I can use the tequila to make the other guy drunk. Get him to fall asleep a little bit deeper. Take the key. Wait, is, that's... I can't show that. I can't even show you guys her name. Her name is, like, actually a slur. Okay, I'll take the human fat and I'll throw it into the pot. No, no! You're not spoiling my brew with that rubbish! What about tequila? I do love the drop of the hard stuff. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, bloody hell, that's not a to it. I can't, I can't stand it. He's like, he's just moonwalking everywhere. It's a thriller, thriller. What did I just walk into? Jesus, man. Oh, hello. <laughs> he has the same reactions as me half the time. You got a hole in your gut, man. He's gonna need some cannon ball wound ointment. I can't understand a thing he's saying. He sounds like Boomhauer. Am I supposed to be understanding a, a, a thing that he's saying? This game doesn't have subtitles. It's not very accessible. I've never seen a game with cutscenes that overstay their welcome more than this game. This is miserable. I, I can't even explain to you guys what's going on. <laughs> I'm not sure what he's saying here, guys, but I guess I could roughly translate it to... I think he's taking pieces of himself and they're going into Grunger's food. Okay. All right, now we have a torch. So there's some kind of rope, and we need to let this guy down. Okay, so where's the potion? Oh, the potion? I had to bring the potion to this guy? So did I already fail? Oh man, I think I lost. I think I have to go all the way back and go through some of those cutscenes, and I really don't want to. Okay, if you're still watching the video at this point, right around here is where the game started to drive me absolutely crazy. So I'll explain some things as we go along. I start off by grabbing the flask that I need to refill the water. I ended the recording so I could skip through the conversation with the giant witch. Jesus Christ, I walked away and the cutscene is still going. Oh, I, oh, I just finished. Okay, all right, I'm gonna keep moving then. 
my game crashed again. Uh, I had just gotten past the scene with the old grandma with the offensive name, and it crashed again. I'm starting to get really frustrated with this one, folks, but uh, I'm gonna keep pressing on. This happened more than just this one time, and with cutscenes that were upwards of five minutes, I actually contemplated just scrapping the entire video at this point. Oh my god. All right, we're back. Please do not crash again. All right, I'll be back when this cutscene is over. Okay, I'm gonna keep it going here, guys. But I swear to God, if my game crashes again on the exact point, oh, I'm gonna be so upset. <laughs> so here's where it crashed. I was just going back to the room with the scary worm thingy, the tentacle monster, the hose person. Boom. Oh my God. Oh my, it crashed again. And no, I didn't save. Oh, this is a miserable experience. Okay, I'm gonna make sure to save after I talk to the grandma this time. But this is the last try. This is the last opportunity that this game gets. It's not. This time it crashed in the middle of the cutscene, but I made sure to save in the middle of the cutscene. Here we go. My headphones aren't even on because I can't listen to this anymore until I get to some new content. Oh my God, I made it out of the cutscene. Save, 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 save. Okay, we're back in. Please don't crash. Please, please, please. Game, I, ca I can't keep doing this. I can't keep going through the main menu. I'll, I'll even I'll even take a detour and I'll go back to the room with the handle because that's what I did the first time before the game initially crashed on me. Like, let's just stop playing the games. Stop messing with me. I got a video to make here. I'm on it. I got deadlines, people. I got deadlines. Oh, we made it through. Oh, Jesus, I forgot about that jump scare. Hi, wormy eyeball thing. Okay, fill the flask. Uh, and it crashed again. Uh, God help this game. And anybody who ever has suffered through the entire thing. Okay, save. I'm gonna save again, right at this exact point. Okay, okay, I have the flask. Now get out of this room. Go, go, get out of this room. I'm saving again. I'm just gonna save my game a bunch. After all that work, it took me 45 minutes and that's literally all I was trying to do. This game is a problem. This is a problem. All right, we've got our tequila. I swear to God, if this doesn't actually solve the mystery, I'm gonna be so upset. Okay, so where's the potion? I got the potion. I got the potion right here. No. No. I don't think so. What do you mean no? No, 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 that's literally what we're supposed to do. Hold on, no, no, maybe we can use it with this guy down here? No. What? I went through all of that for it to not work. So I don't need the tequila? Do I have to go all the way back and have that same conversation again with the guy in the prison cell? <laughs> I can't with this game right now, man. Uh, I guess we'll go to the prison cell. We'll do the cutscene. I'm gonna time this cutscene. Let's see how long it is. I'll, I'll time it on my end and I'll let you guys know how long. All right, I got a timer going. I was about 30 seconds late, but this was a long cutscene. The longest one in the game by far. Two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes. It's still going. Three minutes. Give it up for three minutes, everybody. And I keep getting text messages the group chats going off because the NFL games just started. I'm missing, I am missing the first NFL game of the season to play this, to sit through this. Oh my God, it ended. Okay, okay, I have three and a half minutes on my end, but I'm telling you, longer than that, trust me. And I'm gonna count this as part of the cutscene. So uh, tack on another 30 seconds or so, four minutes plus the time I missed. All right, torch acquired, save my game again. An oiled torch. So I think I have to find a way to light my torch, except I'm stuck in here. Oh, here we go. She's got a fire in here. Let's light up the torch. Okay, I've got a lit torch. Now let's go burn the ropes. Finally, we're making progress. Mr. Pirate Shirt is finally gonna get out of the prologue. No, what, have you done? what did I do to him? <laughs> what did I do to the guy? Did I kill him? He's pissed off at me. Did I do all of that tequila nonsense and all that game crashing earlier for absolutely no reason? Because if I did, oh god damn it, if I did, I wasted so much time. You guys will never understand how miserable that was. Oh shit, he is- Oh, well, I guess I can take his arm. Maybe- maybe the human skull over here is important too. We have the severed hand. Throw that in the cauldron. All right, come on, get moving. I'm so tired of this guy's aimlessly wandering around moonwalking. Okay, I think I know what I need to do, and it is insanely stupid. At this point, I spent about 30 minutes researching, trying to find guides online of what I actually do next. Unfortunately for this game, there's not an actual guide. It's like a weird, obscure riddle that kind of describes some things vaguely. And then this happened. Fancy a taste oh my god, finally. Oh, I just had to use the skull on her. We're good to go. I got the potion. Right here. No. 